You, you have, you have, I love that just, that guy just yelled, WIGGLE! <laughs> Sir, don't tell me what to do, goddamn. <laughs> Permission to wiggle? <laughs> Permission granted. But not from you, sir. I wiggle whenever the fuck I want to. That's what makes me, uh, well me. This record, I noticed this massive warning sign here. Have Moderate you seen this? impact. Yeah. Does this offend you? In moderate some way? impact. It's just a, it kind of offends me that the impact would be moderate. <laughs> I'd rather it be fucking. Frankly, I, that it, that actually yeah. does bother me because that's like a, that's like saying uh, we're all playing along that? with some oh. bullshit <laughs> thing, you know. Like, that's such rhetoric. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we warned the kids, now let's go smoke crack. Yeah. You know, it's just it's such BS, you know. Course language and or themes. Course language. Oh, and I suppose that's course my riffs. fault. Yeah, good going, oh, Josh. Themes. Themes. Nice themes. Lyrics. themes. Nice themes. Ding dong. I got a theme for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we could play a quick game uh, of famous New Zealanders, and I just want you to tell me whether you think that they are a villain or a good guy. Okay, just based on what they look like. People listening or watching will know who these New Zealanders are. You're doing it based purely on I cannot on their wait looks. to judge these people only, simply by the photograph you chose. Only one is only one is non-subjective. Like only one is you can be right or wrong. First person that I'm showing is David Bain. Uh, he clearly looks like a serial killer yeah. or, 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 or or is he the guy that created I mean you, you know that you brought him because of this mom sweater with a look that that appears to be from court, where it's like 1,600 sheep were fucked this morning. By, what's his name? David Blaine? Bain. <laughs> Plus his name's Bain. This is such a setup. He's probably the guy that started the children's hospital here. No, no. I'm, I'm going to give you a correct. No, I I'm wasn't give done. You started the children's hospital here to murder as many children as we could. <laughs> Stop interrupting me. Villain, Who the fuck is he? villain or good guy? Your second person. Are New you Zealand? not going to say? Is that the same no, uh, guy? You're correct. You're correct. Is that you? Uh, this. He uh, is no, about... that's not me. Um, Roger Farrelly is okay. the second person. Come on, Mike. Right. This Please, is a politician man. looking for like a makeover. In fact, why is he actually doing that? <laughs> <laughs> As, I suppose that's Piha too. <laughs> Which sounds like a video game, Piha 2. <laughs> and it, what it does is it takes a leap further than Piha 1. Wait, who the guy, who the, who's this politician? This is Roger Farrelly. He is um, the co-host on our radio show. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, so now I get it. He's doing like a boy band joke pose on the beach. Correct. Right. Okay. Third New Zealander villain or good guy, Winston Peters. I don't like the way he's looking at me. <laughs> Frankly, I don't like the way he's looking at Mike either. And you know what's weird is that, uh, you know, this is such a setup for us to lose. I think it's uh, really, thank you for I doing this. I honestly think you can only win. I Hold on, I just got to <laughs> no, put this on. No, he's reaching for the Russia R3 shirt. No. Were you, were you aware that this man was born in Paris on the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> no, no. It's happening. Don't it's those a, cranes over there resemble like the, Eiffel the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower? No. Okay, one last one. One last one. This New Zealander, Brian. Wait, who, is, who is the... This guy is a politician. Winston yeah, Peters. Long-serving long I mean, politician. It, Very he, polarizing in this country. Th that guy definitely went to law school because it's written all over his he face. It, hold it up again. This is my advice to everyone. Um, let your cheeks go loose so the stick <laughs> will drop out. <laughs> there you go, man. I might just move on from those. I don't want to. I don't want you to bring up like that. You know, we're we're, we're rush like to go to Piha, but that guy needs to take a poo ha. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is, you know, an indigenous word yeah. for get fucked, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you don't mind, a couple of quick questions from the listener, the radio listener. Okay, well, these I are have to the see one the last picture you, that you were going to. Well, I can show you these quickly. This one, a quick villain or not? What did you make of this New Zealander? This was. Um, Brian Tamaki is his Tamaki. name. Tamaki. Oh, oh little Tommy. 
he, he, you know, he seems okay. He's the villain. Is he? What's he? What's his villain? He owns. Uh, he runs like one of those churches that takes all the money from the vulnerable and flies first class everywhere around the world. And he's that guy. You know, yeah. he was the villain. I know he's he's rather underdressed. Yeah. I don't trust any Gonzo type characters. <laughs> this is. I'm now holding up a picture of Thingy, a famous Thingy television pansexual uh, spokes thing. <laughs> <laughs> what a successful round of villain or good guy. Question. We just said villains no matter what. <laughs> I tried to be nice to the one guy, but of course, yeah. know, he's like, God wants me to travel <laughs> like this so everyone can begin to eat a dick in his name. Let's get started on this jet. I'm, my name is Josh Limits. <laughs> and I'm your fucking daddy. Gonna <laughs> tell me where. When to relax, I jerk off. <laughs> it, was a, it was a magic time for me, and I... Do I have a, is, there any, is there like a coke ring here? Have you seen anything? Because I don't want to get that on the film. And that's in the cave, at which we do like this. That's in the cave. Yes, he was eight years old, and he was, he was actually very well developed for an eight year old. I found him to be very strong. He had a great will, you know, he had the will to mine, which was always important. So many of the kids didn't have that will that, that Nick had early on. You know, I'd say, you know, I wouldn't say I'd, I'd do, I'd say dip your balls in ranch. That's all you do, and, and you would do, you know. He just had, he had that, that skill, and he was very, as I said, very developed. And we used to, you know, late at night, lay together and talk. Uh, well, we wouldn't, we wouldn't talk, we acted. What we were gonna do, I'd say, smile big, and he would go like this, you know, and that be, it would be big, the smile. And that, you know, um, I mean, there were some things I did I wasn't proud of. I got him into smoking, but he never was a big smoker. Like maybe a pack a day, which isn't a lot because I'm a three pack man. And uh, he used to call me Pac Man because I did so many packs of smokes. And he'd go upper, upper, upper without the noise, because it was a mime camp. So he was very good at the, the Pac-Man game, which was big. It was 25 years ago, so very big. And, uh, you know, he just had this uncanny ability to mime. You know, how do I get out? I'm in the box, and I can't. There's no door. So I never, he was always in the box, basically. But I think I, I brought him out of that box and put him, you know, out of his shell here. You know. Uh, he was a he was a wise, kind boy, you know. A lot of fond memories of him and many of the other children as well. Lots of other children. Uh, but you know, that's I'm on past that now. I've, I've uh, since then I've had one testicle removed and, and I've been in a few accidents. But I feel really good about that whole time around the lake there. But, uh, yes, I miss him, sure. And, and many of the kids, Tommy and Bobby and Stevie. It's all boy, my troop. Sad, no, sad. I don't really want to talk about it. All right, well, um, <laughs> mine have a couple usable pieces out of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Last question from the listener. Um, hi, I don't want to be in the band anymore. The others are holding me back. I have the voice of an angel. What should be my next step? Um. <laughs> That's from Mulls in Hearn Bay. <laughs> this is your next step, a step toward Jesus. If you have, excuse me. Hi, my name is Joshua Hami from the band Queens of the Stone Age. Do you have a voice like an angel? <laughs> this man would love your help. <laughs> He wants to get the word out about the big guy upstairs. <laughs> Just one second, visualize this. After an orgy's over, somebody has to clean up. The light's all right. Check the mic on there. I'm Joshua Hami. Okay, and? You know exactly who I am. Um, we're making a little video about Roland Sands, and we wanted to know um, your thoughts about Roland. Do you know Roland? Oh, 
Uh, who is it? What is it? Ro Roland Sands. He's uh, the motorcycle guy. Roman Sandals. Not Roman Sandals. Roland Sands. You know what the bikes? You know when chicks do they wear it that it looks cool when it's like it's a sandal but the that the way the leather goes all the way up to the shape. Yeah, no, that's the, yeah, you know? that's the Roman sandals. But, I, but I'm saying like those look bitching. They do look know? good. They do look good. But also, okay, so But so not okay, so Roman's are uh, Roland sandals. Yeah, Ronan Sa Ronan Sands. Yeah, he's a really good motorcycle racer. I thought. Really so interesting soy sauce. We use some kind of soy boy. <laughs> he's a soy. He Tom kind of Sawyer. Sawyer. <laughs> soy. Uh, and there's Tom Sawyer. Mean, mean chowd. Mean chowd. <laughs> winner, 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 chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner, winner. Have any parental advice, Josh, for new young parents? New young dads. Okay. What would you do? Yes, from your I advice? actually do have. <laughs> I have. I have advice. Advice for any freshly minted dad. When your wife is breastfeeding, go, and just go grab a pillow and put it under her arm and give her a glass of water without her asking, and she won't leave you. <laughs> She'll still resent you because her body's been hijacked and you're just walking around doing the same shit. How dare you? And that's something that she has to go through and you're not even paying attention to that, which makes you kind of a cunt in a way. But when you, <laughs> when you, when you uh, and remember the, the age old secret about being a, a good parent, creating a, a space consistent enough for someone to fail and feel comfortable enough to get up and try again. Great advice. This has been Parenting with Josh. <laughs> I only have two questions left. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> really? After some fucking gold like that? That was good. That was a really nice way I to think end. This, I think this has gone from radio to free to go. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you there. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I really appreciate the fact that you guys...